Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and today we're going to discuss an interesting case. A lady came in today, uh, elderly in her 70s, uh, late 70s, uh, who complains of her face, one side of her face going into spasm. And so what she had was um, hemifacial uh, spasm, or which is in a complex of other things, also called benign uh, essential blepharospasm. And so these entities are happen in their dystonic um, contraction of the muscles, and typically we're talking about around the face. And so this lady's left side of her face would go into spasm, and sometimes this spasm is very painful. And if you have it bilaterally, which is usually what benign essential blepharospasm is, bilateral, then both eyes can squeeze shut. And if you're driving down the highway, that's a huge problem. And so um, benign essential blepharospasm has been studied for years. In the beginning, way back many years ago, people thought all these people were crazy. They needed to be put on psychotropic drugs and tranquilizers and all these things. And none of those things stopped the spasm. And so uh, when I was a resident many years ago, I trained in a, a hospital where we were one of the few hospitals in the United States and even in the world who actually treated the spasm. And in those days, we actually made an incision in front of the ear all the way down and dissected out across the face all the muscles that come across that stimulate the, the muscles in your face and we would diagram what muscles were going into spasm before surgery and then we would dissect out and isolate all the branches of the facial nerve that supplies innervation to the muscles in the face and then we would take a little stimulator and tap the different branches to see which one led to where the muscle was going into spasm and we'd actually cut that nerve and take a, a piece of the nerve out so the two ends could not touch to then maybe try to grow back together and so that was in before there was Botox, that was how we treated blepharospasm. And um, you had to be very careful because <clears throat> this is permanent. So you don't want to cut something and paralyze part of someone's face where they'd have trouble chewing or something would happen. <clears throat> so uh, you had to be very delicate about what we did. Uh, and then um, after my residency, then the um, Botox came out, which is botulinum toxin and Botox paralyzes the muscles. The uh, great thing about Botox is, is it's, it, it works really well uh, and also if something is overdone then the Botox then wears off which is also a bad thing about Botox because you have to keep giving injections. So today's treatment of essential blepharospasm is actually giving Botox injections in the area where the spasm is going on and that's what we did for this lady today. We gave her Botox injections because she was having a spasm all the way down to the muscles in her neck. And so this is, like I said, one, it's very socially embarrassing. Two, it's uncomfortable. And three, if it's happening to both sides, you can't see until the spasm goes away. Uh, and this is different from someone's eyelid twitching a little. This is not the same as your eyelid twitches a little bit. Uh, this is actually a spasm. And uh, there are still some doctors today, if the spasm say is around the eye, who will go in and sort of like doing a blepharoplasty, where we go in and take the extra skin out and take a little strip of muscle at the same time, these doctors are going in and taking a lot of the muscle out that's going into spasm and so you don't have the spasm. So there are still some few isolated centers around the country who are doing myectomies, that is taking a piece of the muscle out for treatment of blepharospasm, but really the essential treatment is Botox injections. The thing is you have to have the injections every four or five months uh, to keep repeating those because it wears off. Um, so it's, it's a uh, sort of unusual uh, disease there's actually an essential blepharospasm society. There's a website uh, because these people have been so miserable for a lot of their life that they've actually banded together and have an organization. The other thing that some people even try to do who have the spasms is they wear glasses and they put little 
pieces of metal across their glasses to keep their lids up so they won't squeeze closed. Not very comfortable to wear, but if they're having that much trouble, they're actually wearing glasses with this little device that goes across to keep their lids from closing all the way. So anyway, that's just uh, an interesting lady. We do have treatment out with the Botox, and so uh, she does very well with those. And uh, so that was today's case of the day. If you have any questions about that, please contact us through the website. And uh, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.